Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2022 Ford F-250, we're gonna be checking out the Demco Auto Slide 18,000 pound fifth wheel for the trucks that have the OEM prep package. So Ford really thought things through uh, with these trucks having an OEM prep package. And that's gonna allow you to drop in a fifth wheel hitch like this or even a gooseneck uh, very easily. You know, it's already there for you. So you plop this thing in, lock it down, and that's really all there is to it. But with that said, um, you know, not every one of these trucks has that prep package. Um, it was actually an option. So uh, make sure your truck does have it. If it does, you'll see small openings. You know, I think there's five of them. Kind of one in each corner and one in the middle. Um, if your truck doesn't have that prep package, there's a ton of other uh, options out there for you in, in regards to, uh, you know, using fifth wheel uh, hitches. With that said, one of the really cool things about this setup here is the fact that it is an auto slide, okay? And what that means is whenever you make uh, really tight turns, um, what's gonna happen is the head of this will actually come back a little ways and give you some extra clearance. And that's really important, especially with short beds. You know, you just don't have the space like you do with a, with a long bed. And by, you know, sliding back, that's, you're not gonna run the risk of, you know, having the, the top of your trailer, you know, contact the corner of your cab or break out the glass or anything like that. And it might sound silly, but it's common. We, we've seen a few, uh, few guys in here uh, in the past that, you know, they decided to use a fixed type fifth wheel in their short bed you know, you kind of forget about it, you know, and make a tight turn and end up destroying your truck. Definitely don't want to do that. So to solve that issue, you can use an auto slide like this. Uh, with that said, you know, if you have a long bed, this will still work. Nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, with a long bed though, um, you, you can have the option of using a fixed type fifth wheel as well. So for those of you with the short bed, definitely get some type of sliding fifth wheel, uh, whether it's this one or a different one, like a B&W, something like that. Uh, that would be my advice. If you got the long bed, you can get away. Uh, they're usually, the fixed ones are usually a few bucks cheaper. You can get away with the fixed one or use something like this. Uh, choice is totally up to you. As far as uh, the fifth wheel hitch itself goes, these things are actually pretty well built. I mean, solid steel. Uh, this one's rated for 18,000 pounds. And, uh, you know, they, they thought things through, trying to make it as user-friendly as possible. So one of them, um, the head articulates, which should help you actually hook up to your trailer when you're ready to, you know. If your trailer's not level or truck's not level, you know, this can kind of move around and, and uh, make that a little easier on you. I feel like, too, it'd probably help with the ride. You know, I'm not 100% sure. I'm kind of just uh, thinking out loud here, but... You know, if there's a little movement in this, it might help absorb some of the, you know, the bumps and stuff like that. Uh, it has these guides too. So what you can do is when you're hooked up, you can actually adjust these guides to uh, your pin box. Um, and that'll help kind of just swoop everything right in there and uh, just make it a little easier to hook up, you know. Uh, the jaws that actually go around your kingpin, these things are no joke. These things are super thick essentially complete contact all the way around. So that'll cover your whole entire kingpin. Um, and, and really, you know, for me, it just gave me some confidence knowing that I have full contact there. Cause it's no joke, you know, pulling these heavy trailers around, uh, you know, I want to be as safe as possible. The um, handle mechanism, it has a, a safety pin here. That way when it is locked in, you know, nothing's gonna happen there. Um, you know they they pull out pretty easy but not so easy it's a little concerning you know what I mean you want some force behind it there uh, and that's exactly it and then uh, it'll kind of auto lock too so this is gonna simulate our trailer here so when you back up to it you see how that locks in that's kind of a better view of you know uh, that complete contact there when you're when you're hooked up you know you're gonna do your thing and then uh, put this pin back in so pretty cool features, you know nothing out of this world, but 
like I said, they thought it through, and any little thing that you can do to make it a little bit easier on you when you're towing or hooking up, uh, it's definitely well worth it. So one thing I forgot to mention a moment ago when we were talking about, you know, this sliding back and give you that extra space. So this is going to have about 14 inches, right? So that's about how far back it's going to slide, and that's how much more clearance you're going to have. So pretty significant amount, actually. And I want to mention, too... Um, the adjustability as far as the height of your head when it's level because obviously you want you know your truck and trailer to, to ride level you don't want you know your trailer sitting like this or nose diving um, and this is pretty adjustable um, so on our truck uh, stock everything no lift kit or nothing and I have it on the um, not the absolute lowest setting, just one above that. And the height of our head when it's level, so like this from the ground, is about 54 inches. Um, I feel like most, you know, fifth wheel trailers are gonna ride pretty similar, you know, in terms of the height of them. Obviously, you're gonna have uh, some change there, but um, you know, this is gonna hit, kind of hit all those sweet spots and. Generally speaking, so let's say if we were to go, um, say if this was up too high, okay, the head was, we still can make this sit a little bit lower. And to me, it looks like, you know, if I had to take a guess, probably a couple of inches, you're gonna get difference. And then obviously we can bring it way up, up high too. I feel like most people are never gonna have to bring it up that high just cause how big these trucks are right out of the factory. So you definitely have some options there in terms of, you know adjustability that way you can get everything as level as possible and when you do that that's just going to help your experience you know it's going to pull your trailer better uh be easier to hook up and and everything in between there i do want to address uh, one of the questions we get asked a lot and that's uh using these with the tana cover um and it makes sense because let's be honest you know these things are heavy and Although easy to kind of set in and actually get in, I mean, they're just heavy. There's no other way around it. You don't really want to unload it and everything else whenever you're done using it. If you can just leave it in here, that'd be ideal, right? And so uh, having a ton of cover, it's going to keep it protected or whatever the case is, why you want a ton of cover. So today we're actually lucky enough we have one installed on our truck. And this is actually an OEM Ford one. And like we said a minute ago, this is on the uh, one above the lowest setting in terms of height. And if we close this down, it looks like, I mean, I can easily get my fist in there. So probably a good, you know, I'm just guessing here, at least four to six inches easily uh, of space we have here. Keep in mind, you know, if you raise it up a little bit, I, I feel like you could pretty much raise this to the top. Chances are pretty good and still be able to clear. But keep in mind too what type of tonneau cover you have. So all these are gonna be a little bit different depending on your tonneau cover and how you have your hitch adjusted. But I feel like uh, generally speaking, you shouldn't really run into any issues. I'm sure there will be those, uh, those cases where you know, you might just be that unlucky guy that has a weird time of cover and have to raise this up, this up high. But for the majority of you, uh, uh, you should be in pretty good shape in terms of leaving the hitch in here and still being able to close up your tunnel cover. So now that we, you know, have a good idea how this one looks and works with the truck, I figured it'd be useful just to kind of check out a couple of other ones. So we have two more down here today. This is the Demco Auto Slide as well. This was at 21,000 pound one I mentioned earlier. Essentially, these are very, very similar. Um, you know, there's some, some diamond plate here instead of plastic, and uh, I feel like everything, you know, it's just a little bit beefier being uh, having that little bit higher weight rating. So not too, too much of a difference there. So if you like the 18,000 pound one that we, we uh, you know, are talking about, and you just want something heavier, definitely uh think about this one and then right here we have a bmw this is going to be good for twenty thousand pounds this is the bmw companion um i really like bmw stuff um you know that's not to take away from the demco auto slides at all those are really good products we've had good luck with them a lot of people have as well but 
For some reason, I'm just partial to B&W. They make really good stuff. Um, so this is how this hitch is gonna look. You know, it shares a lot of the same features. Um, you know, it has a full clasp around your kingpin uh, there on the actual fifth wheel head. Um, this one articulates as well. Um, and it's kind of almost cushioned in here too where it sets. So it might help absorb some road shock a little bit better. And uh, something that, you know, I like the idea of the auto slide. So the way that slides back, it just kind of happens automatically. This one you can actually uh, lock and unlock. Okay, so right now it's in the lock position. This isn't gonna slide. So um, let's say if you happen to have a long bed and you don't really want it to slide, you can lock it out. Or if you have a couple of trucks, a couple work trucks, one's a short bed, one's a long bed. So you have some versatility with this one. But when you unlock it, um, you know, that's when this is gonna be able to slide. And so you can kind of get an idea of that motion, you know what I mean? So when you're, when you're taking those tight turns and everything, you know, this will slide back and, and give you that space that you need. So, you know, it works out pretty good. Um, both are really nice products. It's really just gonna depend on what you're looking for, kind of what you like a little bit better, but uh, definitely would not hesitate to use any of these hitches, uh, for that matter, in my own personal truck, or even recommend them to my family or friends. For those of you that are wondering, you know, how easy is this thing to put in and take out? As far as hooking it up and everything, simply drop it in and lock the handles right. The hardest part is just the weight. I mean, it's heavy. Um, one person, I probably wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, two people, definitely doable. If you got a third, uh, why not ask them for help? But a couple of, couple of people, uh, you'll be able to lift this thing in and, and uh, take it out uh, with relative ease. But other than that, at the end of the day, nice hitch, you know, it's well built. Has a lot of those bells and whistles that, that kind of set it apart and, and make it uh, as user friendly as possible. And that'll finish up our look at of the Demco Auto Slide 18,000 pound fifth wheel for trucks that have the OEM prep package here on our 2022 Ford F-250.